Hello everyone. Uh, today's key verse is 2 Chronicles 26 and 5. He sought God during the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. As long as he sought the Lord, God gave him success. Our key verse for the week, memory verse for the week, is Philippians 2 and 3. Do nothing for rivalry or conceit, but humility count others more significant than yourself. Topic, he sees all of us. Affirmations. I'm not prideful. I'm connected with God. I want to be used by God. I hear the Holy Spirit. Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. Because there's so many different names in this particular chapter, I'm going to have the Bible read out the verses that I'm going to uh, have as reference in the devotional. So give me a moment with each time that we're reading, okay? In this verse, you will see that it was a king named Uriah who sought after God. God instructed him, and he feared God, and he did everything he's supposed to do in the Lord. And the Lord blessed him and made him successful. I'm not going to tell you that if you do this formula or you do that, God will bless you. He will give you everything you think of. But what I will tell you is when you seek God and you lean on him and you listen for his commands, God will make sure you have. God will make sure you have you are blessed in, with everything you ever wanted. You might not have a flowing flowing of riches and, and, and you might not have the career you want. But whatever we need, he would make sure we don't lack when we don't lack in him. Uriah did everything God commanded. Verse 9 and through 10. Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate, at the valley gate, and at the angle of the wall, and he fortified them. He also built towers in the wilderness and dug many cisterns because he had much livestock in the foothills and in the plain. He had people working his fields and vineyards in the hills and in the fertile lands, for he loved the soil. He was successful. He built and created plains and vineyards for the people because he let God take control. And when we submit to God everything, he will use us to do everything he wants. It wasn't in any area of his life that God didn't spread his blessings. Look at verse 11. Uzziah had a well-trained army ready to go out by divisions according to their numbers as mustered by Jael the secretary and Maasiah, the officer under the direction of Hananiah, one of the royal officials. The total Even in the armies, he had trained men, conquered all these tri tribes and Philistines and broke down the walls of Gath. He did these things because he had God near him. He made sure he didn't do what his father did. His father's name was Amaziah. Amaziah worshipped other gods. He even brought bad gods for people to worship. He had no desire to do anything to please God. But he wanted God to be with him. He thought if he gave to God, that God would stick beside him. And what we must know and understand that God loves us. And he is gracious and loving. But his presence can't stay in the sin with us. We must be willing to pull away so he can stay. Second Chronicles 25, 8-9 Even if you go and fight courageously in battle, God will overthrow you before the enemy. For God has the power to help our overthrow. Amaziah asked the man of God, but what about the hundred talents I paid for these Israelite troops? The man of God replied, the Lord can give you much more than that. Uriah did, Uriah didn't do this. He made sure he leaned on God until he became powerful. And when he did, he forgot what God was and what God did in his life. And he also forgot how pride is one thing God can't stand. He allowed himself to forget what laws God put into play. He did what he wanted. He, we sometimes become so full of life and, we, and what we want and have, and we forget God gave those things to us. And we lose who we are and we slip. And it's up to us to realize we have to ask God to, to help us. But when we refuse to turn around, God will show us what we have done wrong. It's up to us to accept what we have done and allow his spirit to comfort us and show us the way back. Verse 17 and 18. 
Azariah the priest with 80 other courageous priests of the Lord followed him in. They confronted King Uzziah and said, It is not right for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, who have been consecrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary, for you have been unfaithful, and you will not be honored by the Lord God. When we stop seeking God, we cause sin to open up, and we give the devil legal ground to take over. We have to learn to submit every day, so we won't sin, won't allow sin in. And yes, we all sin, but we must not get so blinded by anything and allow it to create a wedge between God and us. Verse 19. Uzziah, who had a censer in his hand ready to burn incense, became angry. While he was raging at the priests in their presence before the incense altar in the Lord's temple, leprosy broke out on his forehead. You see, we all can have a sin that we can hide from others, but not God. And some people can't see our sin. And no one can see how powerful Uriah was becoming and how prideful he was becoming. Still, God allowed his sin to be shown this time. With leprosy. When this happened, he immediately lost everything he, lo he loved. He was separated from everyone, and that what and that's what sin would do. It would divide us from people. It would separate us from God, most of all. Today, if you desire to be used by God, listen. Stop whatever you are doing and listen to him. Seek him, read his word, and go deeper into your study. God will take you to a deeper depth in different dimensions. But it's when we forget, when we lose this, we lose God. I can lose money, my job, my car, everything I have. But the moment I feel I've lost or losing God, I won't be okay with, with that. Stay grounded and rooted in your word, in, prayer, in your prayer life. And watch God bless you and move in your life. Prayer. Heavenly Father, if there's anything in our life that's pulling us away, please show us. Please direct us and help us to seek you. Please help us to go deeper with you, to know you. Father, we desire to be used by you. We surrender our lives. We surrender our minds and thoughts. Lord, help us to grow more in you every day. Help us to listen to you regardless of the circumstances. Lord, we love you. Lord, we need you. Please show us the way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference. Proverbs 29:23. One's pride will bring low, bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. James 4 and 8, 4 and 6. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the pride, but he gives grace to the humble. James 4 and 6. Romans 12, 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Romans 12 and 16. For further reading, Revelations 14, Numbers 8, and Daniel 2. Affirmations one more time. I'm not prideful. I'm connected with God. I want to be used by God. I hear the Holy Spirit. So today, if you're prideful and you're allowing the pride of life, to stop you from connecting with God and you allowing it to blind you and allowing it to take over your life. Let go. It's because pride is a very hard thing to have in your life. I had pride before I gave my life to Christ. And he took everything away to show me that everything I have, he gave to me, or everything I have is nothing compared to the presence of God being in my life. And now I don't care about the things of the world. It's nice to have, but it's nothing compared to having the presence of God in your life and the Holy Spirit dwelling in the inside. I pray wherever you are, you're safe and you're blessed. I hope you continue to live in God and walk in the light. Have a blessed day.